my people. Today I'm going to tell you a story about when I almost blew up a building. <laughs> Let's roll. <laughs> I was having a conversation the other day with my friend Wayne. Hello, Wayne. And he made a comment and I kind of started thinking about it because I walked in, I saw that he was drawing something. Hey bro, what are you, what are you working on? And he said, I'm, I'm drawing out the design of my retaining wall. I know the definition of retaining, to keep, to hold back, to, to, to keep, to retain it. I was like, well, what are you trying to retain? And he gave me a look. And it's a look that I've received numerous times in my life. Like I'm the nerd who walked into the the biker bar that is like way off the highway and like they're kind of like, what are you doing in here? You're not, you're what is, that's the look he gave me. He didn't even bother explaining it to me. <laughs> he just was like, you're pretty smart about a lot of things, but you don't know anything about real life. You know that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, thank you, Wayne. I appreciate that. And so he explains to me what that is, and now I know. Now I know. If you tell me you're building a retaining wall, now I'll know that it's meant for dirt. Hmm. Anyways, as I began thinking about that, I realized that this is kind of a pattern in my life. Like, my dad would always say, you know, this one piece on the car, or, or this one thing, you gotta go do this, and I would always be like, what? Like, I don't... I don't know. And not because I don't care to know, I just, I never had a reason to know it. That we progressed along so quickly in technology that I didn't need to know how to change my fuel filter, Dad. It was inside the gas tank anyway. How was I supposed to get there? <sighs> when I was 16 years old, I worked the summer for the family business. Family business is cleaning exhaust systems in restaurants. I will say this, the company is fantastic. Family business is our rock stars. I, I don't know all the things in life that I, about that. If you don't know what an exhaust system is, if you go into a commercial kitchen at a restaurant or whatever, and you see the cook line with the grills and the fryers and everything, above that is a little, or not a little, like a big silver box, and it's got a fan attached to it, and it sucks all of the grease-laden air out, and that needs to be clean because all the grease gets stuck to the side of the duct. It's gross. It's disgusting. <gasps> They call me and they say, hey, we have a ski resort we want you to work on. Go and do this. And it's a it's a big resort and everything. You can go do that. So I roll out with the crew. I'm excited. I'm going to make some money. It's going to be a good day. This ski resort is big. There's different lodges all over the mountain. There's different little snack bars and everything during the summer. So obviously there's no snow there. It's the summertime. That's how ski resorts work, right? We start with the lowest lodge and we are working our way up the mountain. So we clean this first system. It's this whole big lodge and the hood is like right in the middle and it's huge and you can see the people cooking there when they're cooking in the winter and everything and it's like a fine dining kind of experience and everything very nice a few hours later the guy who's supposed to be running the crew and training me but wasn't really that interested in training me very much and so just kind of like gave me like random tasks to do so he said oh man i forgot to turn the pilot lights on in that first lodge matt go down and turn on the pilot lights okay cool um one thing What's a pilot light? And he looks at me with that same look that Wayne gave me. That same, I've gotten that look my whole life. I don't know. You don't know what you don't know until you don't know that you don't know it. Do you know? It's the flame that's always lit so that when you turn the gas on, there's fire there. All of a sudden, realization just came washing over me. I understood. That makes so much sense. You turn on the gas, you want there to be a flame so that the, so that it catches the, the flame right then and then you have gas. <sighs> Is that why they have that? That's, uh, and he's looking at me like, you are so stupid. But I know lots of other things though. And so I go down there with a screwdriver and a lighter because that's what he said I needed to do. And so he says, there's these little screws and you unscrew them a little bit and then that'll let the gas in you light it and there you go okay okay cool i start unscrewing a little bit each screw and it's a huge cook light that goes all the way around in a horseshoe and i'm just opening each one just here we go okay well this is what we do well i didn't have the fan on so this gas is coming out it's coming out of each one slowly but it's just filling this hood in this area with gas now where's the lighting box hmm looking 15 minutes goes by with this gas just pouring into the hood. Obviously, you know where this is going, but just let me tell it, okay? Let me tell it. And it's pouring in there, and I'm just looking. I'm looking down, like, hey, where's the, where, I can't see a, like, I don't know. Maybe where you're supposed to light it is past this little grate right here. I will stick this in there and, and use it like a flashlight. I promise I'm not really, like, super stupid. I, I don't know. I, maybe I am. I stick the lighter in and... I wake up and I'm on the ground. I have no idea how much time has passed. Could be a minute, could be a day. 
I don't know what is going on, except for I appear to be alive. So I stand up and I brush myself off a little bit and I look down, all the pilot lights are lit. Uh, mission accomplished, thank you very much. I walk back up to the lodge that everybody else is at. I walk in, I'm like, hey, pilot lights are lit. And the guy turns and he's like, what happened? Nothing, I, I lit the pilot lights. Ah, uh, yeah, And but what happened though? I, 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 lit, I lit the pilot lights, I, I, I unscrewed them and I, I, I lit them. Did you become a pyro? Are you a vampire? Are you like ridiculously sensitive to the sun? No, like what, no? Your face is bright red and you have no eyebrows left, bro. I was too young, I was too young to have a beard, no man beard, just, oh no. What happened? Well, I mean, I turned them all on and then I like couldn't find where to light. He's like, you didn't light them? And I was like, no. He's like, oh my gosh. I was like, yeah, and when I lit it, it went whoa. And he was just like. <laughs> so he was so nice the rest of the day. I think it's cause like he almost killed me and I almost blew up a building and he was worried he was gonna lose his job. I don't know, I don't, now I know how to light pilot lights and that's not the way. <laughs> I hope you guys like that story. It always makes me laugh. For stories, reviews, and how-tos, click the subscribe button, then click the like, and leave me a comment. And have you ever tangled with natural gas or gas in any situation that where it is then lit and 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 goes up in flames quickly like gas does? Have you ever had that? Tell me. Tell me about it. Tell me the story. I want to hear the story. As always, my people, keep telling stories.